robot at the mercy of the house robots now, hanging like a pendulum. It's life hanging by a thread, and the thread about to be severed, one would think. Oh, no, what you don't want to do, King Bucks, at this stage is take on the house robots like shunt. That's a bit daft. And there, the very life thread of Weldor is severed. And the winner is King Buxton. King Buxton? What, what a fight. Not bad. It seemed like a battle of, me, a battle of engines, though. Yeah. We had the most powerful engine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you're going to have to put some new spikes on, but yeah. I think we'll be OK. Do you think you can go all the way? You did well last time. We'll see about that. I'll just go one step at a time, see how we do. One step at a time. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for King Buxton! <laughs> Did it look like this, perchance? Oh, it looks something like familiar, yeah. The man that looks after Sir Killalot is requesting this as a trophy. No chance. No chance. <laughs> no chance? Absolutely no chance. So you won then? We won then. We had to go through a bit, though. A little bit of um, damage on the spikes Oh, dear, there. it's completely bent. Yes. No, both of them I are I had to cut those bent. off and put some new ones on, I think. Yes, I think you will. Yes. Um, and congratulations on being such lovely friends and having a little go at Sir Killalot like that. Well, so it's like a little just a flea little on go. a dog. Kill a lot's just been on to me, King Buxton. He wants your phone number. In the final, you're up against 101. Well, we've got two robotic rams about to go head-to-head -head for a place in our series semi-finals, and one of them's going to get fleeced. This is how they got there. 101. First of all, disposing of overkill. Very, very tense, that was. And then Centurion. Though Centurion on the attack was 101 who came through in the end using the weapon. And this is King Buxton against Eric. Backing itself into the pit. That was splendid. And then Weldor, of course. But damage sustained there at the front prong of King Buxton. Causing problems to Weldor, impaling it, and Weldor eventually pitted. Own identity badge. It's very good. We like that nurse. When are you going to give me another wave? Yeah, when you're on your way up. OK, cos I think that was a good luck thing. I think that worked for you last time. Do you think it's going to work this time, bunny it, waving? It better do. <laughs> we want revenge. You want revenge? We want revenge, cos they beat us last time with Robodon. Oh, I remember. Yes, the 101 team were represented by Robodoc in the last wars and King Buxton beat them. Driving in underneath Robodoc. Time and time again. But the Jutsons have gone for King Buxton! And it didn't go down too well. OK, Who so... Who would have thought it would come to this? Yeah, I know. I know. We're going to have to fight like demons to beat him. Are you? But we must beat him. Well, I mean, you're, you're quite well matched in terms yeah. of height and weaponry, aren't you? Yeah, it's going to be so tough. It was tough last time. It was just the hardest thing. I mean, he's just such a good robot. He's just the best track robot here. High praise from King Buxton. How much of the victory so far taken out of that robot? Simon Harrison at the controls Robotic with Phil Bond. And 101. On. Three. Mike Franklin. Two, and Amy Franklin. One. Activate. The little mascot tight in her grip. Steady start. Dancing around. One another, 101, in underneath King Buxton, two very, very similar looking robots. King Buxton the speedier, 101, slightly the heavier, and taller in height, and driving up on the top there of King Buxton. Look at this now. Boom, up and over. But it has those great tank tracks with the screws embedded. They cause damage not just to opponents, but to the arena floor, let me tell you. Spike comes out of the arena floor. 101 onto the arena wall. What damage has been sustained by those front prongs on King Buxton? 101 turns to come in with a side slam, perhaps. Dodging manoeuvre by King Buxton. Takes it back onto the arena wall. Just see then the prong coming flicking out from the front of 101. Stayed out there again. Sent a 
come into play on contact with an opponent. And it's King Buxton on the very fringe of a CPZ and also the flame pit, the barbecue, and there the circular saws on the arena wall. Taking damage themselves, and I think put out of play the circular saw there. A slam by King Buxton onto the arena wall. Now, thinking about an attack, needs to get away from dead metal. Turns, manoeuvres, dodging. Trying to stay out of trouble. Now on the attack itself. That's a good push by King Buxton. 101 swivels. Great purchase here. Maneuverability. 101. Highly praised by King Buxton. King Buxton with that victory, of course, against Robo Doc in the last series that went down so badly. Paul Johnson, part of the 101 team, built Robo Doc. 101 up and over again. Again, no terrific damage sustained. Look at the power of 101. The circular blade on the back of King Buxton causing no trouble at all. There's a camera on top of Shunt. He tries to get his own axe into play and could well hear now. Have King Buxton at his mercy. Bang! On the top of King Buxton. The shovel lifts and flicks King Buxton into the air, bounces away. Again, Buxton on the attack. 101 dives in underneath. Very, very close this so far. Good old tussle, isn't it? Good control and technique. Style. Not a great deal of damage sustained. So probably more to King Buxton at this stage. Aggression, not a lot between the two of them. King Buxton riding high. The smoke coming away from the wheels. Now, pensive. Is that smoke from the wheels, or is it graver than I thought there? No, it could just be exhaust smoke from King Buxton. We'll wait and see. Or is it? Are they ground themselves to a halt here? This looks as if they've gripped together in some grisly dance of doom. Slower and slower and slower as time ticks down. It'll go to the judges. They've worn themselves standstill. Well, that was far too close to call. Two robots evenly matched. We're going to have to go for the decision from the judges while they're making a decision. Let's look at some of the highlights from that fantastic battle. There, the early drive from 101 up over the top of King Buxton. The slam against the arena circular saw. Some damage was certainly sustained by King Buxton there. In came Dead Metal briefly. That's a good attack, though, by Buxton on the side wall of 101. Again, the push and shove. But by the end, they had nothing left to give. The judges have made their decision. It's unanimous. That surprised me. But they've gone for 101! Can you believe it? You're through to the series semi-final. Well, that was for Robodot. The revenge was sweet, was it? Revenge was very sweet. So, how do you feel you're going to do in the series semis? Well, if I can get it fixed, we've got in with a chance. So. It was a hard-fought battle, it that was one, a wasn't it? It was a very hard-fought battle. Bits of robot everywhere. <laughs> Give it up for 101! <laughs> Werner Anorax, geeks or bores, we're just addicted to robot wars. Bye-bye! First 10 seconds, it? I was so excited, I broke the control stick off the steering. <laughs>
I had to turn it upside down, jam it in, yeah. and then swiggle it around a bit. So I got something out. But and he's I... still lost. Well, I know I stalled the back motor, and then it took loads of power, and it caught fire again. Is that what caught fire? fire? The back yeah. motor? Yeah, the back motor. The back motor, back motor. governor. Yeah, the motor governor, fire. yeah, it did. That's right. So there you go, one little stick, and that's the end of that.